Everyone in the chat is asking about the tweet I favorited. Okay, I'm gonna have to just take a moment to slow down here. So, a thing happened, right? And uh, a lot of people are, are wondering about what this, this thing was. This isn't something I've really, I haven't thought about whether or not it's a good idea to even explain, <laughs> explain it to you, but I'm just gonna do it because it's, it's like too late now. Um, so appreciate that I'm doing something that's possibly a terrible idea. Um, and brace yourselves, because this is a classic, okay? Like, just take a moment to, to be ready, because it's a good one, right? So, as we all know, uh, recent equality news, you know, all the gay marriage in America stuff, good one, humanity, uh, or America, specifically, but because lots of pride things were happening around the world, as you'll have seen on Twitter, all the brands in the entire world changed their profile pictures to rainbows and on particular days people were tweeting messages of support and it's kind of funny because like they're brands and you can be cynical and say that they're joining in to you know promote their brand but really it's a good thing if a brand is just being good uh, <laughs> um, and everybody you know they, they were saying little things and then Virgin America the, like actual Virgin, you know, the big company, Richard Branson, they have a Twitter which is at Virgin America. Their tweet in support of all the equality things was quite something. Now, I saw this because everybody on my timeline at the particular moment that this happened was talking about it. I think it was Tyler in particular who replied to this tweet just being like, um, oh my god. So. It's, it's kind of, how do I feel about it? I don't know. Basically, the actual Virgin America Twitter account, when they decided they want to tweet something about all the gay rights stuff was happening, their tweet about this was retweet if you're a top or fave if you're a bottom, hashtag equality or something like that. And everyone was just like, oh my God, because like, <laughs> it's like, how is is that amazing? Is it funny? Is it hilarious? I mean, it is, it's, it is kind of amazing, but it's like actual virgin just actually, and that's like, I mean, there's n nothing wrong with anal sex, but like, that was actual virgins to it. And everybody on Twitter was just like, I cannot believe that they just tweeted that. And everyone was just freaking out about it. And I was just like, I don't know how I feel about it. That's incredible. This tweet is so funny. Of course I'm favoriting that, because, you know, I want to I save it and remember it whenever. And just didn't uh, think about it and went on with my day. You see, you, you see now, okay. So about five hours later in the evening, I'm with a friend and she's on Twitter on her phone. <laughs> and she goes, Dan, you know you favorited this tweet, right? And I was like, oh, what, the version thing? Yeah, I tweeted. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Are you ki <laughs> Yes. So, so here's the thing, right? Here's the thing about telling you. That is what actually happened. But I don't expect any of you to let this go or to say that that's what happened because it's too funny. So don't worry on my behalf. I fully appreciate that this is an incredible, hilarious, to be honest, it's just a classic Dan moment, isn't it? This is just, just classic Dan Howell. Of course, of course I'd do that. So, I mean, that, that is what happened, but I, I don't expect you to let that go anytime soon. <laughs> right? So, again, like I said at the start, ap appreciate that I did just explain that with you, because... It's quite incredible. I mean, like, just just when you might think Dan's come so far, you know, as a person, you know, since all the years he's been making this video is about how awkward he is, just the ways that he fucks up constantly, he's never going to know. Don't worry. 
Don't you worry for a sec- yeah, reasons why Dan's a fail, thank you very much. As I said, classic Dan moment, so, so there you go, you can have that one, enjoy it, and whenever you think about anything, just remember this moment and think, wow, Dan, so, uh, so, so yeah, um, that's the thing that happened, and are you surprised? I'm not surprised, to be honest, um, I don't think any of it. What do you think about meninism? It says you hit rock bottoms somewhere too soon, and I probably haven't. Let's be real. Let's be real. More things are gonna happen. Um, we all love your awkwardness. I'm sure you do. That's why I'm here. You know, feel bad about your life? No, don't worry. You've got Dan to laugh at whenever you feel bad about anything. Oh man. 